Oh. All of the houses here are Maybe done. That. So, since I don't want them to travel too far. more houses. I'm looking stone. So I need 130 196 stone in order to get both the graveyard and the church up. Guys, I'll be saving up then. Ah, four more peeps. Here, one, two, three, four. I wish that we had winters like this, where it was snowing all the time. But no, I can't have nice things because the Dutch will complain. It's too cold, it snows. Yeah, like here. Siberian Arctic cold is approaching. And it's like minus 10 degrees. It's like, how is that Arctic cold? Arctic cold should be like minus 50 or something. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, like, also, beware of extreme heat. And it's like 31 degrees, unless it's like that extreme heat. Yes, that is extreme heat. Degrees. 40 degrees is extreme heat. No, 31 is extreme enough for me. Yeah, but you live in the Netherlands, so... 31 is an extreme for you, but here it's like 40 degrees. Hmm. I remember two months of drought. No rain whatsoever. <laughs> my backyard, you know, I had a picture from my roof on my backyard. Mm -hmm. Imagine every piece of grass is yellow, only the trees are green. Imagine what that looks like. Horrible. Yeah, and the, the uh, dry grass actually becomes slippery. Okay. Yeah, when you walk on it constantly, it becomes slippery. And it's pretty dangerous. Mm -hmm. Things that are hell of a lot to dry are something as dangerous as it being wet. Mm -hmm. So it's something like yeah, it's gotta be dry, but not completely dry to actually be sticky. Starlin, a child named Starlin was born. Aye. Starlin. Starlin. Aye. Scottish, yeah. Scottish. Edmundo has become an adult and started to working as a laborer. Eh? See. Or maybe he's Irish. 
Irish. Irish, yeah. Darling, is Irish? No, I don't think so. That's more like British English, like. This is as close as we can get to the people. Who are you? Killian! Citizen. Gonzalo. Damien! Hey! We saw Damien earlier. And he's not happy at all. <laughs> he's not educated. His clothing is ragged. Okay. He's as old as I am, 34. What are you... Oh, you don't have anything on you. You are a vendor. You work at the market. Right. A child named Helian was born. And Gonzalo. Gonzalo. <laughs> Betelin. Has died of old age. What? Oh, the Alicia! Whoa! <laughs> Hesika died of old age and Jummy. Names, people. Uh, Names. Hesika. Hesika. Just like Hotiko. But Hesika. <laughs> Restor. Wow, names, people, names. And we have close to we have thirty thousand food. Amanda. Mm -hmm. Well, we have thirty thousand food. Last time I was struggling for food, and now it's thirty thousand food. All because of the way. All, all, all because of the way that I laid out these crop fields. And okay, I, I know that the earlier crop fields over here helped out a little bit, and then these definitely help out. Seriously, 30,000 food. The clapping you hear is me killing bugs. Ah, yes. <laughs> a child named Bril, Bril. And in Dutch, the word Bril means glasses. Like the one I'm wearing. Bril. Bril. Get to know. I expanded my Dutch vocabulary from Hodverdome to Bril. Vrak. Vrak? Vrak means re revenge, yeah. Oh, Vrak. Vrak. It's, it's a longer A. Ah, vrak. Because Vrak, like you said it, is wrecked. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Like, I feel like a wreck. My car is wrecked. The wreck of yeah. the ship. That's Vrak. But oh. Vrak. So. Revenge. There's like a difference in long vowel, short vowel. Double vowels or single vowels. Vrak is spelled with two A's and Vrak is spelled with only one. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. Hershelby or Hershelby? Hershelby. Hershelby. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's like that. Probably. I'm actually gonna put another forestry area up here while I'm at it. Like then we've got this area covered, that area covered. This area covered, that area covered, that area covered. I think that for this one town it should be enough. Um, Talon. Talon is the capital Talin. city of 
Yeah, but that's with double N. Uh, Tallinn, wasn't that Estonia? Yeah. Yes! Estonia. I'll be right back. Sure. Fisherman as well. And that's it, hopefully. Looks like it. You're still here, Fasili? Yeah. So, was it just uh, the. Oh no, there's another one that I'm missing out. So, the blacksmith died, the fisher died. No, then it must have been. A vendor, because I remember having six vendors at some point. Yeah, that. A lot of people. Garnestein. Or Garnestein. Garnestein. Mario! They're actually, They're actually pronouncing the names in a more Dutch way than English way. No, I think I'm gonna be here for a little while. Garnestin. I mean, I, That's how I'm. Garnestin. I am really enjoying this particular run of the playthrough. Yeah, nobody's dying. Except for old age and accident. Mm -hmm. Definitely. My produced goods are reaching the motherfucker. Search for produced goods near capacity. Motherfucker. Gise. Holly. Karense. I need more storage barns. And now my reserve of iron is low. Well, that's a first. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 
Probably a well somewhere. No, it's just a well. Now I put a well somewhere and probably forgot to pause it. Nope, that one was paused. That one is paused. That one is paused. Oh. Hey, you lucky. Shailani. I don't know, I probably have a well somewhere that is not lost, that should be lost. Oh wait, it's a storage bunch. Uh, okay. What are these buildings with the forbidden marks above them? You mean... These things? Uh, that, uh, that disappeared. No, the buildings that had a circle with a crossed out diagonal. The two buildings in your main part of town. This thing. The snowflake. Not the snowflake, the other round thing. That means forbidden. The... Oh, that. It's the that thing that looks like a O in Danish. Yeah, okay. Um, they don't have enough... Um, Resources. Oh, that what it. So, for instance, a uh, the thing that I ha had highlighted just a moment ago will require uh, the blacksmith requires logs and iron to produce iron tools. But you can also produce steel tools with iron uh, logs and coal. But if it has one or neither of the ingredients, such as the tavern here, doesn't currently have any of the uh, plums. Oh! Well, I forgot to set it to plum. Oops. If it doesn't have any plums to work with, then you'll see this uh, icon saying like, okay, I don't have enough stuff. Mm-hmm. That's it. Poor Nomad! 26 nomads! Nice! Yes, please! Rest in peace, my goddamn ears. <laughs> Sorry! That was loud. <laughs> nice! 26 nomads in one single go. Yay for more victims. Yay for more people in the quarry. Any more victims? Come in. Oh, I, I screwed up. You know, I oh. watched the plate of the... Holy shit. An outbreak yeah. of typhus. That's something that nomads can also bring. Disease. <laughs> Typhus. Luckily, I have a hospital. So they should instantly go there as soon as they are ready. But in the meantime, they can go infect other people. But so, that's the guy with the walking skull above him? Yep, and he's heading to the hospital as we speak. He's in the hospital right now. We have one patient. And over here you see how many people are ill. That's number two. Sadly, going to the hospital as we speak. One got cured, the other's in the hospital as we speak. And when stuff like that happens then the game slows down automatically to speed one. Like if you have an infestation, or a fire, or even a tornado, or an, a disease such as this, and the game slows down from any speed that you have it on, back to speed one. Mm-hmm. So you're like, okay. Look at all the children born. Yeah, 33. Born. Whoa. Tristan Ford. That's a great name. Tristan, Tristan Ford. Ford. Yes. Vapethel. <laughs> 
right underneath it. Babe cell. Yeah. Maybe it's a uh, Babethel. Babethel. Yeah, probably. Babethel. Something like that. Sounds biblical. Yeah. Poor, poor child. Yeah. You know, I was actually uh, telling you, I was rewatching the Cards Against Humanity stream. Mm -hmm. And when I actually said, any more victims, I was actually surprised it turned out well on stream, actually. It's like, yes, it sounds like it. So, and I also don't sound that bad. I was expecting my voice to sound much worse. So, my self-esteem level suddenly shot up to Im unimaginable levels to finally hear that my voice isn't that annoying as I hope it would be. Well, it's almost one o'clock. Yes. This is, this is a game that can make me... Chew your life up? No. Yeah, but it, it can make me go all through the night. If things go well, such as now, then I could fall an all-nighter on this game. Just like the old days of Prison Architects, that I'm just so addicted that yeah, I forget yeah. time, and then all of a sudden it'll be like 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm like, holy shit, it's that time already. Yeah. I remember when... Back when I was playing, uh, started playing all of the other Doom mods or like map replacements. Mm -hmm. Some of them were so good, I was just playing through the entire mod. And the mod was actually, one of it was called Eternal Doom. And it's notorious for having extremely large maps. One map uh, took about two hours to complete. Because I was getting lost repeatedly from where I had to go to where I was actually. Mm -hmm. There was like uh, switches all of the, uh, all of around the map, so uh, you activated a switch, so it would activate another on a com far away, completely other side of the map. You activate this switch, and then you have to go to another side of the map, to activate another and another and another, and so about after about 500 switches later, you can progress to the game to the exit. Um, okay, suddenly people are without houses for just a brief moment. That was weird. Maybe there's a bug or something, like a glitch. Maybe. But what I'm doing right now is making another tailor, another blacksmith, and another woodcutter. Yeah. Because I am gonna be opening up my mine. Yeah, actually, I was uh, back when you were streaming, you started streaming Rise of the Red for some time after that. I know I had a period but I had extreme trouble staying asleep like I couldn't sleep at all I was one time I think I actually wrote it in the comments that I was awake for 40 hours straight mm -hmm. and I don't know why but I there was a time I couldn't sleep at all yeah like I would go to I, bed and remember, be awake I remember something And that was actually a time I, I still think I think I still wasn't uh, working at the time, mm. or probably started working. So it was my first job, so it definitely took a toll on my body, on my mental health. Mm -hmm. And it was a I started working in a sauna, so of course working was hard so but I did progress so is that the, no do you still work at the same sawmill then 
Yes, I do. Nice. For three years, actually. The longest job that I've been able to keep, besides my first paper route, was two years and two months. Nothing longer. So this is now uh, three years. Uh, will be three years in September. 9th and the 9th of this uh, September is uh, when I started working. So now my contract, working contract, is indefinite, as the law says. And that's about it. My payment started from uh, 3,300 creation kunas to 5,000 and 500 question goodness. I wrote it in euros how much uh, that is actually. I think I remember seeing that and it was quite a uh, significant amount yeah so things are going for the better but uh, the way the situation is right now it's never going to be completely good you know Holy shit, dude! Look at the amount of food that I have. Forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand. And I've got my limit yeah. set. I've, I've got my cap set to five thousand. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! I can like re remove like the ha half of these farms and I'll still be fine I think. Dang! That's a lot. Is that I need stone for weeks? Yeah, basically, I, from my, uh, when I started working, up to now, my payment raised by 296 euros a month. Almost 300 euros a month. Nice. Trust me, here in Holland, not a lot of people can, can say that they have been given such a raise. Well, that's in a span of uh, two and a half years. Especially okay. like that. I mean, the, well, the only way you can really get such a pay raise is to change jobs entirely. Yeah, but I started from a normal worker to actually a truckmeister. So, I transferred to a higher paying job, but they had to raise a job to actually keep workers. Mm -hmm. uh, because... Would you believe it? Uh, since Croatia's independence in the in the nineties, about half a million people left in the country. Yeah, I can imagine that. So that that's a lot of people, and the amount of people that left this year is about almost a hundred thousand it's gonna reach that number so a lot of people are leaving there was a actually a situation of uh, death of a young boy here because not a lot of doctors the payment is not good the you cannot work normally so people go work in other countries a lot of doctors actually go work in the Netherlands. Well, in other good news, my mine is finally up and running. I've got five people working there. So now we're going to have a that. constant stream of uh, iron as well. And oh, we're out of tools. Well, since you now have a constant stream of iron, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> 